Hey there, this is Scott with Showing Austin. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how easy it is to use Auto HDR to edit your real estate images. Let's get into it. There's two reasons here I'm going to upload JPEGs only. And then not only the JPEGs work almost as good as the RAWs, I think that it's a little quicker and it's something you can do to expedite if you're going to be sending from the road. For example, some teams will now send from a hard drive computer after you came to FTP directly to Dropbox if you want to get really technical, and then your pictures are automatically sent to the editor from camera or from computer. That will expedite your job. Imagine returning those post photos within an hour or two hours tops to your clients with the help of an assistant. Pretty amazing. But just to show you how quickly those 50 JPEGs were uploaded. Now, once those photos are processed, they're going to show up here in the JPEG test area, which is what I called it. You'll see the status. It's in downloading stage, grouping, and aligning its next, blending and masking, and replacing skies and cameras. I'll come back and show you once these are available as to what it looks like. I will then also show you how it compares to the human edits I had done for these same 50 photos, which is really in edited photos. Let me go back to the manage account area, which is neat. You can add a human to the loop. So if you have neat touch-ups, corruption when your screen's blackened, which they don't, don't do yet directly, you can have your editor in the loop here, or if you want certain things like grass being greener, et cetera, it's a neat little way to, to have your editor kind of directly involved. You can also refer friends for 50% commission by getting a referral code. You can also see your subscription, change your subscription, change card, etc. One of the newest features is the Dropbox automation. If you upload your photos to a certain photo, Auto HDR will grab those photos, automatically edit them, and return them. This is great for virtual assistants and even direct client if you want to have photos expedited. Really neat feature that I've not seen elsewhere. You can also ask to be a part of the affiliate program which I am lucky to be a part of. You can add your emails to the team, your company to the team. What's really, really neat here is you have a basic style profile. And in your style profile, you can basically adjust brightness, contrast, vibrance, white balance, and even your cloud, cloud style to four different options. You can see that in the background, you've got a fluffy, you've got a dramatic, you've got a wispy or fluffy and wispy. You can set these. I've got them set to zero. It is recommended, and I'll show you why later in this video. If you change your settings and install profile, brightness, contrast, light, vibrance, white balance, cloud style, this will apply for all future uploads. So if you start using it, you realize, hey, I just like a little bit more contrast, and I might like a little bit more vibrance in your photos, and you save those, then it, it will give you those, those updates. So when your photos are ready, you will get this email that looks like this. Your shoot is ready. Your, when you hit that button, it'll take you to your finished photos. You see, I've got my 10 finished photos here. Look really good. They're very bright, vibrant, very colorful. I got my cloud choice here. What I want to show you that's really cool is when you open up one of these photos that's been edited already, you can then go into this editor and change your brightness a little bit if you choose, add some contrast if you choose, as well as white balance and vibrance what's even cooler is you can change the clouds you can remove them add them back in but since you chose them to be the the style you want it will keep the clouds in but you can remove them here you can also do an autofill this thing like a flower bouquet with a brush style i'm not going to go into it right now that could be another video and you can also do the auto remove so for example if you want to remove this area here you could do that as well i'm gonna not go into that either as well the cool thing here is with the twilight you hit this it does require four credits you hit confirm the fifth credit was how they originally had it now it's another credit to download it so they're still calling it five credits you 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 clearly will know if you're going to have to pay the extra credits and if you want to do that that's a really neat feature 
human in the loop is when you can actually have your human in the, in the loop uh, attend to this kind of photo. So that's really neat here. And uh, same thing with the interior photos. Now, if you want to select them all and download, the, download them at once, you can do that right here. But you want to make sure you have your adjustments done, if any, in here. You can even crop them if you want inside this editor. It's pretty neat. But that's it. You can basically select them all, download them. Here, I'm going to go ahead and download them. So you see the exact process that I'll show you. It's downloading here. And my system is asking me if I can download from this site. Yes, you can. I'm going to go ahead and show you the pictures that were edited by Auto HDR. Here's the 10 I chose, 3 exterior, 7 interior. And this is my human edit. So the clouds are different by choice. The pictures might be a little more rich in color, maybe a little bit more contrast, which can be changed if you don't like that exact coloring. I happen to like a little bit more of a neutral color here on the floors than my human editor does. It's a little bit more neutral, it's a little bit more natural. I actually like it better and it's pretty phenomenal. So let me go ahead and browse through. And go ahead and browse through these, you know, these auto HDR edits. Pretty crisp. Pretty amazing. Window pulls are great. The colors are great. Let me go browse through the human edit. Editor is very good. I think the Auto HDR for its convenience is phenomenal. And by the way, this email came probably 20 minutes after I uploaded these pictures. Imagine having these photos returned here. Also, they would automatically be put back in the Dropbox. Remember I mentioned Dropbox and you can set it up so your photos unedited can go in the Dropbox, Auto HDR will get them for you, return them for you in Dropbox. And you will, you can have an assistant, virtual assistant, even yourself, what have you, review them, deliver them to the client instantly. Also, if you're a Spiro user, which I am, you can integrate it within Spiro. And have even further integrations direct to the client Pretty phenomenal in this day and age. If you're not checking out Auto HDR and its competitors, which I've tried, won't name them here. They do decent jobs. But the features, simplicity, pricing of Auto HDR, it really, it really can't be beat. I'll show you a closer comparison here of the edits. As you see, starting here, this is the HDR edit. This is the human edit and so forth. It's very, it's very close. There's some very subtle differences. As mentioned, the color here, the floor, this is a little more neutral or cool. This is more warm. Same with this picture here. I actually like the window pulls uh, really well with the human editor. Don't get me wrong, but it's darn close with the auto HDR. We a huge monumental task. The window pulls are very impressive. I don't need them to be as clear as the human in your but it's darn close. The only thing you're not getting automatically is this fire in the fireplace and the blackened screens here, which I'm a sucker for. Let me bring these up closer. It's giving me the reflections. I don't love it. Some people don't mind it. Some people don't even notice it. I like a look at that clean black screen on a computer or TV. I'm hoping they get that changed eventually. You can also do it yourself or have an editor do that in the add human to loop there. Going back to the beginning, let's take a little closer look at the differences. Auto HDR. Let's look a little closer to the images. Auto HDR, human edit. Auto HDR, human edit. If anything, what I'm noticing, the auto HDR might have a little bit more pop or contrast on the exterior shots than the human edit. Auto HDR, human, auto HDR, human. And then indoor might be the opposite, as described and shown. Actually, see, I like that cleaner look. I really do. The auto HDR gives you the interior. The exterior, some people like that. Auto HDR, by the way, I want to, I want to notice, I want to point this out. It actually aligns the horizontals a little better. They're not perfect, and I chose this picture on purpose to show that. Human editor did not align that horizon as well as the human the uh as, as the auto hdr did
again back to the outside and this is not your style you can actually go back in and bump this down to a more natural look and let me show you how to do that again if we go back to the listings this is the one we're working for working with we want to take the exteriors and we want to just bump it down a little bit i think you're going to find it to work really well for some homes and not as much for others one way or the other so I think it's a minor, minor difference here compared to my humanitor. I can just bump down the contrast, maybe even the vibrance a little bit, bring it down to a little bit more of a neutral look. Here's the contrast again, maybe just some vibrance. Vibrance doesn't seem to be doing all that much there. Kind of bringing down some of that saturation. Maybe just a little pinch. So if you want to kind of put back that up, that's one option for you. Let's take a look at that with the exterior as well. You just want to bump the contrast and vibrance down a little bit. You can do that on the exterior and make it look a little less saturated. So that's the ability you have. Remember, when you when you want that done, you want to save it. Then you want to go back here and download it. You are going to be charged by the the ones you download. Not, in other words, if you look at 120 here at first, I'm down 110 because I did download all these to show you the comparison. There was a recent update to Auto HDR they've been waiting for in communication with Matt Gia, the owner of the software. In that, I've been waiting for the removal of the cameras and tripods from the mirrors. And just a few days ago, it was extremely nice to see that it is now working well. As you can see there, these are my five brackets. And that is the same for this as well. And it removes that tripod and camera from the mirror really nicely. Here's even an angled shot where it does a great job with not just the edit, but the complete removal of that camera tripod. Really psyched to see that and look forward to future updates real soon. You can check out the pricing plans, both monthly and yearly up here. They have to give you 10 free photos. I would definitely get into that, as well as the link I'm gonna send you at the end of this this video the nice thing about these plans you don't have to really commit long term because your credits will roll over and you can start for as little as 50 photos a month for 2850 as you see the price gets a little less per photo as you extend your commitment but this is all monthly and i think this is ridiculously exp inexpensive considering photos are much closer to a dollar each for most professionals you also have your enterprise plan right here that goes anywhere from 2,000 photos a month for as little as 48 cents to 40 cents. You might want to move this portion of the video to the end. And you can also get a further break by going yearly, as you see here. And here. So check that out. The, the AI Editing Studio is where you can upload a file and you can do a virtual twilight. This does cost you five credits and takes few hours to get back. The item removal you can do yourself, the touch-ups you can do yourself, as well as staging you can do yourself, which is some pretty neat. Listings is where you'll find your finished listings, and I'll show you how that works. And if you have a reason to contact them, you can go to the knowledge base, which brings you on to the basically frequently asked questions area. You can also go to request the feature, and you can go ask a sales question, you can ask about partnerships, and you can contact support. You can also contact support now, which is also new. There's an AI assistant on the bottom of your screen here. In closing, if you click the link in the description that says try Auto HDR for free, the first 100 photographers will get a free week of photo credits to try this service out. It'll help the channel, but it'll also help your business more. Thanks for watching.